New right is a descriptive term for various right-wing political groups or policies in different countries. It has also been used to describe the emergence of Eastern European parties after the collapse of the Soviet Union and Soviet-style communism. <laughs> New right by country Australia In Australia, the New Right refers to a late 1970s, 1980s onward movement both within and outside of the Liberal, National Coalition which advocates economically liberal and increased socially conservative policies as opposed to the Old Right, which advocated economically conservative policies and small L liberals with more socially liberal views. Unlike the United Kingdom and United States, but like neighbouring New Zealand, the 1980s saw the Australian Labour Party initiate third-way economic reforms, which bear some familiarity to «new right» ideology. After the John Howard Coalition ended the 13-year rule of the Hawke Keating Labour government at the 1996 federal election, economic reforms were taken further, some examples being wholesale labour market deregulation e.g. Work choices, the introduction of a goods and services tax (GST), the privatization of the telecommunications monopoly Telstra, and sweeping welfare reform, including work for the dole. The H. R. Nichols Society, a think tank which advocates full workplace deregulation, contains some Liberal MPs as members and is seen to be of the new right. Economic liberalism, also called economic rationalism in Australia, was first used by Labour's Gough Whitlam. It is a philosophy which tends to advocate a free market economy, increased deregulation, privatisation, lower direct taxation and higher indirect taxation, and a reduction of the size of the welfare state. The politicians favouring new right ideology were referred to as «dries», while those advocating continuation of the economic policies of the post-war consensus, typically Keynesian economics, or were more socially liberal, were called «wets». The term «wets» was similarly used in Britain to refer to those conservatives who opposed Thatcherite economic policies, but «dries» in this context was much rarer in British usage. <inaudible> Brazil The new right in Brazil has grown sharply in recent years within population, intelligentsia and academia. That is mainly due to a generalized discontent with the current left wing government and its policies. This new movement distinguishes itself from what is known in Brazil as Old Right, which was ideologically associated to the Brazilian military government, União Democrática Nacional National Democratic Union and Integralism. It is identified by positive views regarding democracy, personal freedom, free market capitalism, reduction of bureaucracy, privatization of state-run companies, tax cuts, parliamentary, political reform. It rejects «cultural Marxism», socialism of the 21st century and populism. There have been two major phenomena relating to the rise of the new Brazilian right, the Free Brazil Movement, which has managed to bring together millions of people on demonstrations against the government in March 2015, and the creation of the new party Partido Novo and Libertarios, the first liberal party since the first Brazilian Republic. Some Brazilian new right thinkers are, Kim Cataguiri, and his movement Movimento Brasil Livre Free Brazil Movement, Roberto Campos, Wilson Martins, Alavo de Carvalho, Luis Felipe Ponde, Paulo Francis, José Guilherme Merquior, Bruno Tolentino and Miguel Real. As a result of this movement, in the 2018's Brazilian election, Jair Messias Bolsonaro was elected President of Brazil with 55% of the votes. His right hand in economic subjects, Paulo Guedes, graduated from the University of Chicago, will be his economy minister. Chile The term New Right Spanish, Nueva Derecha has come into mainstream political discourse since the election of Sebastián Piñera in 2010, when Interior Minister Rodrigo Hinspeter used it to describe his government. Hinspeter's introduction of the term caused a buzz among newspapers, politicians and analysts. According to a column published in The Clinic, the new right is different from the old dictatorial right of Augusto Pinochet, in the sense that it embraces democracy. It is also different from the religiously conservative Union Democrata Independiente Party, in that it is more open to discussing issues like divorce. 
According to the same analysis, the new right is becoming increasingly pragmatic, as shown by their decision to increase taxes following the 2010 Chilean earthquake. France In France, the New Right or Nouvelle Droite has been used as a term to describe a modern think tank of French political philosophers and intellectuals led by Alain de Binoist. Another noted intellectual, who was once part of Alain de Binoist's Greece, is Guillaume Fay. Although accused by some critics as being far right in their beliefs, they themselves claim that their ideas transcend the traditional left right divide and actively encourages free debate. France also has one identitarian new right group which is connected with Thule Seminar in Germany, that is Terra et Pupil of Pierre Vial, who was once an integral part and founding member of Alain de Binoist's Greece. <laughs> Germany In Germany, the new erect literally, new right consists of two parts, the young conservative literally, young conservatives, who search for followers in the civic part of the population, and, secondly, the national revolutionaire, national revolutionists, who are looking for followers in the ultra-right part of the German population, and use the rhetoric of right-wing politicians such as Gregor and Otto Strasser. Another noted new right group in Germany is Thule Seminar of Pierre Krebs. Greece Phalos Kranidiotis, a Greek politician who had been expelled by New Democracy chairman Kyriakos Mitsotakis for expressing views more similar to political rival Golden Dawn than those of former Prime Minister of Greece Konstantinos Mitsotakis whose legacy expressed the most important principle of its recently elected leadership, including Adonis Georgiades who had been a member only since leaving far-right Popular Orthodox rally in 2012, instead of those expressed by the previous heads of the party who had close friendships with him, specifically Kostas Karamanlis, Antonis Samaras and Vangelis Mimarakis, founded the new right party based on national liberalism in May 2016. Netherlands The New Right was the name of a far-right, nationalist political party in the Netherlands from 2003 to 2007. The Party for Freedom PVV, founded in 2005 and led by Geert Wilders, also is a New Right movement. Since March 2017 Forum voor Democrata is another New Right party in the Dutch parliament. New Zealand In New Zealand, as in Australia, it was the Labour Party that initially adopted new right economic policies. Rajanomics involved monetarist approaches to controlling inflation, corporatization of government departments, and the removal of tariffs and subsidies, while the party also pursued social liberal stances such as decriminalization of male homosexuality, pay equity for women and adopting a nuclear-free policy. This meant temporary realignment within New Zealand politics, as New Right. Middle class voters voted Labour at the New Zealand general election, 1987 in approval of its economic policies. At first, Labour corporatised many former government departments and state assets, then emulated the Conservative Thatcher administration and privatised them altogether during Labour's second term of office. However, recession and privatisation together led to increasing strains within the Labour Party, which led to schism, and the exit of Jim Anderton and his New Labour Party, which later formed part of the Alliance Party with the Greens and other opponents of New Right economics. However, dissent and schism were not to be limited to the Labour Party and Alliance Party alone. During the Labour Party's second term in office, the opposition New Zealand National Party popularly known as National selected Ruth Richardson as opposition finance spokesperson, and when National won the 1990 general election, Richardson became Minister of Finance, while Jenny Shipley became Minister of Social Welfare. Richardson introduced unionisation legislation, known as the Employment Contracts Act, in 1991, while Shipley presided over social welfare benefit cuts, designed to reduce welfare dependency both core new right policy initiatives. In the early 90s, Maverick National Party MP Winston Peters also came to oppose new right economic policies, and led his elderly voting bloc out of the National Party. 
As a result, his New Zealand First Anti-Monitorist Party has been a partner in coalition governments led by both National (1996–98) and Labour (2005–08) and 2017 ongoing. Due to the introduction of the MMP electoral system, a new right, Association of Consumers and Taxpayers. Party, known as ACT New Zealand, was formed by ex Labour New Right aligned cabinet ministers like Richard Preble and others, and maintaining existing New Right policy initiatives such as the Employment Contracts Act, while also introducing US style welfare reform. ACT New Zealand aspired to become National's centre right coalition partner, but has been hampered by lack of party unity and populist leadership that often lacked strategic direction. As for Labour and National themselves, their fortunes have been mixed. Labour was out of office for most of the 90s, only regaining power when Helen Clark led it to victory in a Labour, Alliance coalition and centre-left government 1999 However, the Alliance disintegrated in 2002. National was defeated in 1999 due to the absence of a suitable stable coalition partner, given New Zealand First's partial disintegration after Winston Peters abandoned the prior National-led coalition. When Bill English became leader of National in 2001, it was thought that he might lead the party away from its prior hard-line new right economic and social policies, but his indecisiveness and lack of firm policy direction led to ACT New Zealand gaining the new right middle-class voting basis in 2002. When Don Brash became leader, new right middle class voters returned to National's fold, causing National's revival in fortunes at the New Zealand general election, 2005. However, at the same time, ACT New Zealand strongly criticised it for deviating from its former new right economic policy perspectives, and at the same election, National did little to enable ACT's survival. Don Brash resigned as National Party leader, being replaced by John Key, who was a more moderate National MP. As for the centre-left, Helen Clark and her Labour-led coalition were criticised by ex-Alliance members and non-government organisations for their alleged lack of attention to centre-left social policies, while trade union membership recovered due to Labour's repeal of the Employment Contracts Act 1991 and labour market deregulation and the unionisation that had accompanied it in the 90s. It is plausible that Clark and her cabinet were influenced by Tony Blair and his British Labour government, which pursued a similar balancing act between social and fiscal responsibility while in government. Poland In Poland, a conservative libertarian and eurosceptic political party Congress of the New Right, New right was founded on 25 March 2011 from former political parties Freedom and Lawfulness and Real Politics Union by Janusz Korwin Mika. It is backed up by various voters, some conservatives, people who want to legalize marijuana and citizens who endorse free market and capitalism. South Korea In South Korea, the South Korean New Right movement is a Korean attempt at neoconservative politics. The Lee myung bak government led by President Lee myung bak and the Conservative Grand National Party is noted for being a benefactor of the domestic New Right movement. United Kingdom In the United Kingdom, the term New Right more specifically refers to a strand of conservatism that the likes of Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan influenced. Thatcher's style of New Right ideology, known as Thatcherism, was heavily influenced by the work of Friedrich Hayek in particular the book The Road to Serfdom. They were ideologically committed to economic liberalism as well as being socially conservative. Key policies included deregulation of business, a dismantling of the welfare state, privatization of nationalized industries and restructuring of the national workforce in order to increase industrial and economic flexibility in an increasingly global market. United States In the United States, New Right refers to three historically distinct conservative political movements. These American New Rights are distinct from and opposed to the more moderate tradition of the so-called Rockefeller Republicans. The New Right also differs from the Old Right on issues concerning foreign policy with neoconservatives being opposed to the non-interventionism of the Old Right. <laughs> 
Topic: <laughs> First New Right. The First New Right (1955–64) was centered around the libertarians, traditionalists, and anti-communists at William F. Buckley's National Review. Sociologists and journalists had used New Right since the 1950s. It was first used as self-identification in 1962 by the student activist group Young Americans for Freedom. The First New Right embraced fusionism, classical liberal economics, traditional social values, and an ardent anti-communism and coalesced through grassroots organizing in the years preceding the 1964 presidential campaign of Barry Goldwater. The Goldwater campaign, though failing to unseat incumbent President Lyndon B. Johnson, galvanized the formation of a new political movement. First new right figures William F. Buckley, Jr. editor of National Review Frank Meyer, anti-communist libertarian and creator of the «fusionist» political theory James Burnham, anti-communist political theorist M. Stanton Evans, journalist and writer of Young Americans for Freedom's Sharon Statement Barry Goldwater, U.S. Senator from Arizona and Republican U.S. Presidential candidate Second New Right The Second New Right was formed in the wake of the Goldwater campaign and had a more populous tone than the First New Right. The Second New Right tended to focus on emotional, wedge issues such as abortion and was often linked with the religious right. The Second New Right formed a policy approach and electoral apparatus that brought Ronald Reagan into the White House in the 1980 presidential election. The New Right was organized in the American Enterprise Institute and the Heritage Foundation to counter the so-called, "...liberal establishment." In elite think tanks and local community organizations alike, new policies, marketing strategies, and electoral strategies were crafted over the succeeding decades to promote strongly conservative policies. Second new right figures Richard Vigory, direct male activist, Howard Phillips, founder of the Conservative Caucus, Robert Grant, Christian right activist and founder of Christian Voice, Morton Downey Jr., television talk show host of The Morton Downey Jr. Show. Terry Dolan, founder of the National Conservative Political Action Committee Phyllis Schlafly, anti-feminist activist and founder of the Eagle Forum Newt Gingrich, former congressman, former Speaker of House, a candidate for the Presidency of the United States, and author Paul Warrick, founder of the Heritage Foundation and the Free Congress Foundation Ronald Reagan, President of the United States Third New Right Since 2014, the term «New Right» has been used to describe the sudden wave of young conservative, libertarian, classical liberal, nationalist alt-light, and supporters of President Donald Trump. This emergence came in reaction to a perceived rise in social progressivism, the big government policies of the Obama presidency, PC culture in places of higher education, cultural Marxism in popular culture, liberal bias in the mainstream media, and the rise of democratic socialism and globalism. This third wave of the new right share a number of the views of the alt right, but reject its racialism, antisemitism, and homophobia. Third new right figures Andrew Breitbart, conservative publisher, writer, commentator, and founder of Breitbart News. Often described as the founder to the third new right. Ben Shapiro, conservative political commentator, writer, lawyer, and editor in chief for The Daily Wire. Stephen Crowder, Canadian American conservative political commentator, actor, and comedian. Host of Louder with Crowder. Alex Jones, Texas-based radio show host and conspiracy theorist. Host of The Alex Jones Show, and creator of Infowars.com, Newswars, and PrisonPlanet. Gavin McInnes, Canadian writer, actor, comedian, former co-founder of Vice Media and Vice Magazine, former contributor to The Rebel Media, and founder of The Proud Boys. Milo Yiannopoulos, British polemicist, political commentator, public speaker and writer. Former senior editor for Breitbart News. Tucker Carlson, conservative political commentator, reporter, author, and columnist who hosts the nightly political talk show Tucker Carlson Tonight on Fox News. Janine Pirro, TV personality, author, former judge, prosecutor, and Republican politician from New York. Current host of Fox News Channel's Justice with Judge Janine. Mark Levin, American lawyer, author, and radio personality. The host of the syndicated radio show The Mark Levin Show, as well as Life, Liberty and Levin on Fox News. 
Jesse Lee Peterson – Conservative political commentator, minister, author and media personality. Stefan Molyneux – Canadian YouTube personality, podcaster and author. Steve Bannon – Former White House chief strategist for President Donald Trump, media executive, political figure, former investment banker, and the former executive chairman of Breitbart News. Lauren Southern – Canadian political activist, internet personality, and journalist. Mark Dice – YouTube personality, conspiracy theorist, and author. Paul Joseph Watson – English YouTube personality, radio host, writer, and editor-at-large of Infowars.com. Candace Owens – American conservative commentator and activist. Director of communications at the conservative advocacy group Turning Point USA. Dave Rubin – political commentator and talk show host, creator and host of The Rubin Report. Donald Trump – billionaire, former television personality, and President of the United States. Tommy Lahren – political commentator and television personality on Fox News.